So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today we're looking at the Eminem Venom video. So uh, yeah, let's get into it, it's pretty easy. I'm showing you kind of like a easier way of doing it. They may have done it a different way, but you can do it. I'm gonna show you with an image instead of green screen footage just because it's quicker. Um, but if you wanted green screen footage, then you just wanna do like a cut out green background of your head and you could do some movements kind of like this make it look a bit more chaotic but I'm going to use an image just because it's faster for the tutorial and it'll be the same process so yeah let's jump in Boom! right now I've got my uh, After Effects composition open I've basically dragged in um, some footage um, this is from fo some footage from a music video I'm editing but um, basically what you want to do is add in your footage to a new comp and then what you want to do is click on the footage and then if you go to get rid of that you should go to the thing the, uh, the panel that says tracker you can find this in window and you go down to tracker click that once you've got that you want to make sure your footage is selected and then click track motion once you track motion it will open you to a left if you double click the layer where if you click track motion it should open you into this basically which is another panel up here once you're in there you basically want to so mine's already done you basically want to zoom in and track it onto wherever you're tracking and then once you've done that you want to have it so that you your target is yours should say like edit target and then basically you want to so basically what you want to do is go new create a null once you've got your null, you can then apply the track. So you put edit target and then click your null. So it should say it should say null. And then you click apply. And those keyframes that you made will be then applied to this null. So there they are. They're like applied there. So then what all you have to do now for a track to follow is is like create a composition of like whatever it is. I'll use pixelation. And then you just want to pick whip it to the null. And then it will follow the track. You just place it over, and it will it will track it as long as you've got a good track. Now to do the venom effect, I've basically cut out a picture of my head. I'm doing a recent project for an album cover, and what I've done is I've changed the mode to lighten so that it's kind of like you can kind of see through it a little bit. And then obviously it's been pick whipped the uh, null. And now what you want to do is you kind of want to create like a like a glitchy kind of like chaotic movement so first you want to turn on motion blur so turn that on which is here and then enable it on the layer as well and then what you want to do is first off you want to click p on the on the keyboard and you basically just want to like one frame have it somewhere and then go forward a frame and move it somewhere else and then move it backwards like again and keep m moving it until like you feel like it's moved a lot so each frame if you move it quite a far distance the blur is going to be like harsher um so like you want to really realistically do it one frame by one frame and then just because in the video for eminem it's not constant is it so what you want to do is click t on the keyboard bring up a t opacity and basically you want to bring that on and off so i've got it zero next keyframe is 100 and then the next keyframe is it's 100, 100, and then zero. So then it switches off, zero, 100, and then it's moving backwards and forward, and you're kind of getting this like chaotic like movement. Um, but yeah, that's basically the effect. It's super easy to do. Like you can obviously go a bit crazier with this. You can like duplicate the head and have two layers of it like shifting out sideways, so it looks a bit more like. Um, looks a bit like more mo like the motion is being like crazily ripped apart of his head but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial it's super easy i hope you followed i hope you guys enjoyed the video super easy one really you know doesn't take too long mainly the tracking that could be a bit of a bugger make sure you get those keys right otherwise the track starts going everywhere lengthy process but i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Ka -ch 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 -ch